Welcome to this lesson on using the six thinking hats, a useful toolkit for groups engaged in creative thinking. Dr. Edward de Bono introduced the concept for thinking more effectively in groups in his book, Six Thinking Hats. The premise of this idea is that the brain thinks about things in a number of different ways. The identified different categories of thought are assigned to a color-coded hat. The hats provide a structured way to think about different aspects of a problem. We will look at each of the hats in the slides which follow. The white hat focuses on facts and information. This hat includes information collected or identified as missing. The blue hat focuses on the big picture. This hat serves as the facilitator of the group thinking process. This hat can be used to set objectives, both for the problem-solving process and the thinking session itself. The black hat focuses on critical judgment. This hat includes details about obstacles to solving the problem, or other negative connotations about an item or idea. Since people are naturally critical, it is important to limit black hat thinking to its appropriate role. The yellow hat focuses on positive judgment, this hat is the opposite of the black hat. It includes details about the benefits of an idea or issue, or thoughts about favoring an idea. It is still about critical thinking and judgment, as opposed to blind optimism. The yellow hat asks the following questions, what are the benefits? What are the positives and the values? Is there a concept in the idea that makes it attractive? The yellow hat reinforces creative ideas and new directions. The green hat is the innovative hat. It focuses on alternatives and learning. This hat concerns ideas about new possibilities and thinking about implications rather than judgments. Green hat thinking covers the full spectrum of creativity. The green hat asks the following questions, are there other ways that this could be done? What else can be done? What will overcome our difficulties? The red hat is called the emotional hat. It focuses on feelings and emotion, this hat includes feelings, including gut reactions to ideas or items identified in another area. The red hat asks the following questions, what are my feelings now? What are my gut reactions? What does my intuition tell me? The red hat should be limited to 30 seconds or less. The red hat allows us to express our emotions without having to say why. When using the six hats to make decisions, you can shift perspective as follows. When wearing the white hat, you should be neutral, objective, and unbiased. When wearing the red hat, you should be intuitive, emotional, and instinctive. When wearing the black hat, be pessimistic and judgmental. Think of disadvantages. When wearing the yellow hat, you should be optimistic and hopeful and think positively. When wearing the green hat, you should be creative, think out of the box, from new perspectives. And finally, when wearing the blue hat, you should manage, coordinate, summarize, facilitate. Now consider how you can use the six thinking hats method to begin solving this problem. The state government is considering amalgamating a number of smaller town councils into one large city council. This will have significant cost savings for the community. The decision makers have to analyze all options, critically determine the advantages and disadvantages of the suggested solutions, and do a risk assessment of the outcomes, before ending up with creative final solutions. They have to take into account all stakeholder opinions, and plan for a smooth amalgamation process. Using the six hats model, write down one or two example questions you might ask from each perspective. Using white hat thinking in your analysis, you may have concluded the following, a cost-benefit analysis is required to help determine the real costs of amalgamation, and the potential benefits. It may also be necessary to ascertain local options, possibly through surveys and focus groups. Using red hat thinking in your analysis, you may have concluded the following, firstly, a lot of people won't like this, and many state politicians may lose their seats in the next election. In addition, who wants to upset the apple cart, it works okay as it is right now. Using black hat thinking in your analysis, you may have concluded the following, firstly, this will be a very risky proposition, which is likely to upset a lot of people, and will be a lot of work to accomplish. It will also require several million dollars in feasibility studies alone. In addition, the process could take several years to accomplish, and a new government may reverse the decision. Using yellow hat thinking, your analysis, you may have concluded the following, this is a potentially, 
a highly attractive proposition for the state. It could save very significant sums over a 10-year period, and requires confirmation of the potential benefits. This will require a very strong business case. It would involve significant negotiations with communities and with trade unions, and will require the appointment of a PR manager. It will also be necessary to develop risk and contingency management plans. Using green hat thinking in your analysis, you may have concluded the following, there may be opportunities to approach this from a number of alternative routes, we could for example, merge only the very small councils initially, to achieve quick wins, and popular support. We may also offer strong incentives to councils to merge. It may also be possible legislate increased budget control in state parliament, to reduce the blocking potential of local councils. Using blue hat thinking, your analysis, you may have concluded the following, we need to reach consensus on the strategy for integration, and to gain full commitment from the parliament, we also need to ensure that all parties feel their opinions have been heard, and all facts examined. The six thinking hat methodology allows a deliberate focusing during problem-solving sessions, with an agreed-upon sequence of steps, and time limit to each hat. It ensures that everyone in the group is focused on a particular approach at the same time, rather than having one person reacting emotionally, as in the red hat, while others are being objective, as in the white hat, and still another is wearing the black hat to form critical judgments of ideas. The green hat is the main thinking hat for generating solutions in the problem-solving process. The other hats can be used as a reminder of the rules of productive brainstorming sessions, such as limiting critical judgment, both positive and negative, as in the yellow and black hats. To summarize then, we use the white hat to examine the facts. We ask then what is the current information on the issue or problem? We use the red hat when considering feelings. How does everyone feel about the current situation, or problem? The black hat signifies caution. We ask what are the negative aspects of the current situation or problem? We use the yellow hat when considering benefits. What are the positive aspects of the current situation, issue or problem? We use the blue hat to focus on the process. What conclusions or summaries can we make in moving forward on the issue or problem? Finally, we use the green hat when thinking creatively. We ask, what are the alternatives or new ideas we can bring to the problem? Subscribe now and join us in your career journey. Want to learn more? Click on one of our websites to view our range of online business and management courses.